Uh, hi guys, um, it's still uh, Saturday, uh, June the 20th, and uh, we got the goats in today. I'm going to try to do some videos of us going to get the goats, catching the goats, but uh, unfortunately that didn't happen. These guys are faster than I thought they were. Um, but anyway, we had to chase them down, trap them, corner them, uh, everything just to get them here. Uh, again, this is a temporary pen, and they're only in this for tonight. Well, they're in this for longer, but we don't have. We started on the shelter thing. Um, we haven't got it finished, and it's going to be connected, and then there'll be a hole cut in it where they can go in and out of the shelter. Um, but we don't have it finished. So it's for tonight, we're just going to take one corner, lay some boards across of it, tack some tin down. At least they have something over them, some kind of shelter over them, um, just for tonight. And then tomorrow we'll actually get their shelter. Um, it's going to be like on a sled with something we can move around as we need to move around. And um, in uh, my first video, uh, you saw where we, I had gone to an auction and uh, picked up the T-post. Uh, all the T-posts and some of the, there's a couple of rows of the fence and there's actually a small fence, fencing. But um, we're going to start getting this fence put up as soon as I get the shelter done. That way... Basically, the um, temporary pin, I can just take the panels down and just let them go inside the, the pin there because we're going to fence it all in there. Um, I'm going to actually take you over and give you a, a good look at them. They're still a little nervous, um, and I'll point out which one now. The nanny, she has a buckling and a doling that I bought. They were all together. Um, in fact, they just went off for a little while back, and the guy's been holding it for me. Um, but there's an extra buckling that's not related in there, because I wanted something that was not of the same bloodline. And these are Kiko Boar Cross. Um, but that spotted one, as you see, that nanny keeps budding is um the one that i bought for a different bloodline so i bought it from someone else and they the people know each other so that we know it's not the same bloodline um but they're kind of butting him around he's a little nervous and uh but he's the one i'm gonna keep to breed uh with the nanny and the the doling and the buckling i still debating on what to do with him because he's related to the the nanny and the doly uh, and that's him right let's see if I can get him that's him right there um, whether to keep him and just get a couple of dolies to go with him but then I, if I do anything I get from them is still going to be related so I still have the problem so more than likely what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell them or trade them off for another buckling from a different bloodline so any um Dolings I get from the two does um, or the nannies, um, I'll be able to breed with him or the new one that I'll get. So anyway, I'll get it figured out. But now, that is the nanny right there. That's her right there. And if you look on the other side, the fawn looking colored head one, that's the little doling. Uh, she's a feisty little one. She keeps butting that new buck, buckling. And uh, she keeps going up, bucking him and bucking him. And, uh, but they're all very nervous. And like I said, they, we got them in here, I want to say about 4 o'clock or so. So they're still very nervous. They've actually chomped down a lot of these weeds already. Uh, so they're going to work it down real fast. So this little pin is not going to hold up long. And again, one of the things is I um, just temporarily are going to tie her off because they'll stay with her. Wherever she goes, I'm going to tie her off and um so she can actually clear down some of the brush line on the side so we can go ahead and get the fence put in there but there's the little and actually one of my subscribers that subscribed to me uh can't remember the name i apologize um but i told her i would name the little doling after her so all you got to do is email me what your name is because you didn't tell me your name uh and i'll actually um name the goat the doling after you um, but anyway there's the buckling again the young buckling again there's the doling now I'm going to keep her and her mom here's the one that I would like 
to just trade off or sell off and you get another buckling that's not related to any of them because he is not related to them. Now he's a Kiko and um, uh, boar, spotted boar, whatever they call them, um, cross too. And boy, they're just giving him a hard time, but I think he'll calm down eventually. I think she's more or less trying to protect them. I, again, I don't know a lot about goats. I got a lot to learn. Uh, but he seemed, they did, seem to do okay. Every now and then she'll chase him around. And uh, he doesn't fight back or anything. He just runs from them. So, but he, they, they were free range, but they were at different places. And he was really, that young buckling right there, he was, oh God, he, he was probably on 15 acres of land free ranging so he's he's pretty wild the other ones are used to um the kid that raised them semi used to them people so they do okay but yeah i'm on definitely i may even have to put up another pen tomorrow or something but i think they'd be okay once they get used to each other they're not really hurting him but they're just giving him a hard time poor guy even that little doly she's giving him a hard time and but anyway uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll get some more videos out real soon. Uh, the grandkids are becoming out here quite a bit once they get really settled in. We're still trying to get them settled in. Today I had to go buy them a refrigerator uh, for the mobile home um, and we're still doing some work over there so that's why I didn't get a whole lot done as far as videos today. But we will, will be getting a lot more in the future because I still have some work to do over there and a lot of work to do around here. Uh, but we got them a refrigerator in there. We already got them had them a stove in there and everything uh, They're pretty much settled in and they're loving it and, and the kids of course Like I said, uh, you know the kids come out here yesterday and played around a little bit, but it rained all day So they couldn't do a lot uh, But they really enjoyed it. They haven't seen the goats yet and my granddaughter she just loves animals You know my son, grandson. He's like, okay, you know, but he's not too good. He'd rather play with his tractor He's a typical boy but my granddaughter loves all kind of animals. So she, anyway, all right, guys, i uh, get some uh, videos out tomorrow um, and show you what the progress, where we were going from here. All right, talk to you guys later.